Hi there, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out the UK. Just a quick one. Um, just been sent this, I've been sent a link about the, um, what's his name? Ron Stevens, forced to attend a work assessment because even though he's terminally ill. Um, the other day, I think is about just over a week ago, we had Stephen Smith emaciated. He's in his 60s. And he was also forced to do a work assessment. Couldn't even walk. That's a problem. The DWP and their systems, whichever systems they're using, Capita, they've taken out the person out of the process. All automa automated. There's no compassion. There's no empathy. There's no human element in the process. So when, when this machine is going through whatever it goes through to determine whether or not someone's eligible. It doesn't pick up on things like terminally ill. And apparently, if you've got six months to live, you still have to go through the process. People know they're terminally ill. They know they're dying. And yet they have to go through this bureaucracy. How cruel is that? There should be something that says, if you're terminally ill, you, do, you forego all of these processes. Fancy asking people to complete work assessments and they're dying. That means it's just a paper, it's, it's just a tick box exercise because they can't work. So what is the point of completing a work assessment? This Stephen Smith, he, he failed the capability questionnaire. So they told him to go and claim ESA. If, if this third party hadn't intervened on his behalf, he'd be dead now. Because he wouldn't be getting any money. I mean, surely there has to be a, a time when a human intervenes. You cannot leave these things to machines. And that is the problem. We are heading for an automated system that is supposed to do everything. And it's supposed to save you from human costs. So they don't want to put humans in the fray because otherwise it defeats the object. But you need humans to intervene in situations like this. A robot or whatever kind of machines they're using cannot determine whether or not somebody is dying, whether or not somebody is six stones, whether or not that person is emaciated, whether or not that person has the capacity whether mentally or physically, to fill up that, that questionnaire, 24-page questionnaire, and, and complete it accurately. When you're going through terminal illness and you have to take all those drugs, half the time you're unstable, you're dizzy, you're weak. And apparently these forms have to be completed in a legible form. And if it's not in a legible form, they throw it out. So if you are if you are terminally ill and you're shaking or you have some kind of Parkinson's disease or something like that, you don't stand a chance in hell because there's nobody, there's no human element in this process. I don't know what it's going to take because the people at the top are only interested in making money. They're fed up of people living too long. They want to kill them off. They want them to die. Unless it's their own parents, of course. Then they might have a little compassion. But as far as they're concerned, it's mostly about money. And they don't see no point in putting people in these jobs if they've got automated, which is supposed to save that, that, that element. So it's a real shame that Pete, this has to be highlighted. But there'll be more. And there'll be not, and not everybody's going to have the wherewithal to find somebody to help them. But it's a very, very, very sad state of affairs. They really need to have a situation, an emergency situation where, or even have a section on the form 
that says, are you terminally ill so that the machine can pick it up and therefore make exceptions. But apparently they're not even fast tracking, fast tracking terminally ill patients that are living beyond six months. <sighs> I guess they don't want to pay out money and then have to scrape it back. They're afraid it might get lost in the system. They're afraid they might lose it. They're afraid it might form part of their estate because they've already given it out. So that's probably why they don't want to pay it or fast track it if these people are dying. But it is sad and I just had to report on it quickly. Bye bye.